In medieval to total war, you can participate in the crusade as a Christian and jihad as a Muslim. Those two options are not available for the orthodox faction though. There are differences between crusade and jihad. The crusade aims at expanding Christianity on new ground while jihad aims at conquering back lost land. You can participate to crusade or jihad in two ways. For crusade, you have to ask the Pope to start one or you can join a crusade already in progress when started by another faction. To start a crusade, you will need the right diplomatic context because you have to get the blessing of the Pope. So maintaining good relations with him in the previous turns is crucial. One advantage of starting a crusade or jihad over participating in one is the ability to choose the targeted city. The jihad works similarly, but in the case of Muslim, it must be started by an imam following the loss of Muslim territory. Since imams are under your command, it's quite easy to start one compared to the Christian faction and the diplomatic requirement they face. It's important to note that to join a crusade or a jihad, you will need a general with an army of eight units. The crusade and jihad have a few advantages. The armies participating move twice as fast than normally. The unit participating costs nothing to maintain and many units are only available as mercenary in the crusade and jihad. When a crusade or jihad achieves its objective, the generals participating win a lot of trade and gain commanding experience. For a Christian faction, the relation with the Pope will improve in the case of a victory. The fact that your army move around fast may allow you to loot many cities on the way making your empire richer. While the crusade and jihad can look attractive, using them in the right moment is very important. You need to know how to gain from them since they offer interesting opportunities. Before joining a crusade or a jihad, you need to consider the following aspect. Make sure that the objective isn't too far from the territory of your faction. Conquering a city far away brings with it many problems. A newly conquered city in the middle of hostile territories increases your military cost and divides your forces. If your crusade doesn't advance fast enough, the desertion rate will increase and weaken your crusading army. If many factions are participating to the conquest of the objective, you need to remember that only one faction will control the city by the end of the crusade. This means that at some point you can have a general and his army in the middle of an hostile territory without any place to retreat. The process of bringing him back can be dangerous, making his army ineffective and costly. It can then be considered a waste of resources.